Welcome back to Drive World, and I'm going to be looking at and rating some of my viewers' garages. And we're going to see if any of them have the best garage in the entire game. For the first person, we have Neo. They have a total of 35,000 miles, they're level 50, and they have 2,200 wins. And we're starting out strong with a maxed out showcase garage. And for this, it seems like they used all of the beach colors. So we have the blue ground, and then we have this sandy color on the walls. And for the first car, we have the coach with this ethereal wrap, which both come from the Halloween event. We have the Zeta and the Rotary Evo, which are both from the event as well. And for what I can tell it seems like this rotary evo might be full stock the next car we have is the grant and then we have the bullet which i believe is the most expensive car in the game even though it's technically supposed to be the holiday inferno but i guess people enjoy this car more and then we have the modino which is also from the christmas event and then on the pedestals we have the regent and we have the edler roadster and this regent looks pretty cool because it's matching the yesco stock paint and then this edler has yellow mirrors uh, that's definitely gonna dock some points. And then on the other pedestal, we have the Kingfisher and we have the Gridion, which I think both came from packs during maybe the Christmas event. And then if we head into the living quarters, we have, for some reason, a pumpkin pal here. Uh, that's a little strange. And then in this side room, we have the rarest car in the entire game. These aren't counting ones locked behind rolls, as there's only around 200 of these in the entire game. And coming back here in the living quarters, it's basically the same colors. But instead of this sand, we have brick, which I'm not too sure about that. And I also feel like there's a little bit too much blue in here but overall this garage is pretty cool and it definitely took them an insanely long time to finish this all and i'm gonna rate this garage a seven hopefully someone else can beat this score the reason i feel like this garage is a seven because these cars are super cool but this garage style just doesn't really look that good it's also cool how every single car in this garage has the same license plate but i definitely think they could change up some stuff and it would make this place look way better on to the next garage we have brave he has a total of 88,000 miles and 50 million dollars so this garage better be amazing. Here we are in his garage and the first thing I notice is this really weird looking floor. It kind of looks like ice and they haven't even finished this garage yet. If we head over here, we can see that they haven't even started over here yet, but they have a mega bus. So this definitely bumps it up some points. And then in this main room, we have the Zeus Evo. And then over here, we have the brand new car in the pack. And this car is a pretty big flex right now since it is pretty expensive. And then over here, we have a lot of the most expensive cars in the game. Starting off with this Rotary Evo. And then we have the Zeta, the Bullet, the Grant, and then the Diavolo Evo. And fortunately, this car doesn't match the rest, so that's also going to dock some points. But this is a pretty cool style that these cars have. Although, the matching rims definitely need some work. As you can see by the Zeta and the Rotary Evo both not matching the Bullet and the Grant. So overall, I think I'm going to go with a 4 on this one. I definitely don't think it's better than the last one that we've seen. And it doesn't really seem like they planned out a design yet. But with that, I'm going to have to leave you, Mega Bus. I'm sorry. On to the next person, we have Strawberry Texas. They have a total of 71,000 miles and 30 million cash. They're also level 50 and have 7,800 wins. And let's check it out. <laughs> My eyes, it's so bright. Uh, and what are those rims? I don't even think I've seen those before. They also haven't finished their garage yet. And we have the buggy. We have the mixture. We have, uh, I don't know what this car is called. We have the Zeta. And then we have one of the gold cars. And I don't think this lighting's that good and it doesn't make these cars look good and what are those rims why would anybody use those rims on this over here we have a car that's entirely valentine's day based which i uh also don't think that looks that good and if we head up here we finally have a breath of fresh air we don't have red lights flashing us this car is actually super clean that purple looks super good and it seems like they're still working on everything in here if you only look right here in the garage it actually isn't too bad but, uh, I- this, uh, ruins everything in this garage. I'm gonna give this one a two because that part up there isn't too bad, and I think you could definitely do something worse in here. Uh, they turned off the lights, which I guess that makes it a little better, but now you just can't see the cars. But yeah, I'm gonna go with a two on this one. If they change the lights and fix some of the materials around here, I think it wouldn't be too bad. On to the next garage, we have False RS, and they have a total of 21,000 miles and 10 million dollars. We finally have a different garage, and this floor looks super nice. Nice. But I'm sure it's not that good of an idea in the mechanic shop. Starting off with the first car, we have a Zeta, which has a suspicious spec that looks a little similar to some of my cars. I think there's something going on here. We have a Rotary Evo, which has a wrap that I don't really like. And also those rims don't really match this wrap. Over here, we have a mixture with a really interesting wrap. Feels like they chose colors that perfectly don't match each other. It's almost like they chose a mixture of colors. <laughs> 
We have an ST3 RS, which looks super nice. We have this Porsche, which I think is called the Trek. I'm not too sure, but I do think this looks pretty nice. And then we have the Hyper One, which is the most expensive shop car in the entire game. And it has a weird paint job, which I don't actually think looks that bad. And then we have this Bavette, which doesn't fit onto the dyno, which has another really interesting spec on it. But unfortunately, this garage isn't maxed, which definitely is going to dock some points. But this place doesn't look too bad, and it has some pretty cool cars. And overall, I'm going to give this garage a five. It's definitely not bad, but I also don't think it's the best garage we've seen yet. On to the next garage, we have Meowing Cat. They have a total of almost 19,000 miles and 4 million cash. This garage is definitely the best we've seen yet. On the walls, we have this really cool water texture and this beautiful silver color. And the cars are definitely better. First off, we have this Rotary Evo with a red and white livery, which it looks like it has drag tires or something. We have a Holiday Inferno with the stock paint. We have this Regent with this really interesting blue color. We have this white Zeta with some orange accents on it and uh, what is this it's the color of a banana and then it has banana rims with horns on the top and a spoiler i'm just uh not gonna question that one next we have this gridion which looks like ice and it's also using snow tires we have an orange modena which i really like this orange color this is probably my favorite car out of all of the ones we've seen so far although it does get ruined by these airless tires and then we have this kingfisher which is matching the rotary evo over there and then we have this halloween vanaheim and this car definitely seems like something you'd see out of a halloween movie even without all of these customizations on it and heading into the lounge area we have a hooligan which i think also looks really nice and if we head upstairs we have an edler i think this might be the roadster version which has this dark blue that matches the wall and in the lounge area we have white walls with also all the blue accents this place honestly looks amazing and i don't see how anybody can top this i'm gonna give this garage a 9 out of 10 the only thing i would change is some of the cars but if we're just looking at the garage this might be my favorite spec i've ever seen it all just looks super beautiful and is really unique on to the next garage, we have Bobot with 6,000 miles and 32 million cash. And I was expecting a lot more than this. Uh, they have 32 million cash. And uh, I think they have like two or three upgrades in total in this garage. Yeah, they said perfect car. Yeah, I really think that the cars in here are absolutely perfect for this. I think the way they could fix this is if they remove all this stuff and all this stuff over here. And then add in some car spots and then add some car spots. Yeah, once it's at 100%, I think this garage will look pretty nice. Um, I don't really know what I'm supposed to rate this. I guess I'll give it a 2 because it doesn't look bad at least, but they haven't even started upgrading it. So I think I should just move on to the next garage. On to the next garage, we have Peepoo Dino 2, and they only have 1,700 miles and $15 million. They only have 1,700 miles, but they actually have the showcase garage. And in here, they have a bullet. They have a Zeta. They have a fake rotary evo and another fake rotary evo over here they have a modena and a super four extreme and i don't really like this texture that they have over everything i think that definitely needs to be worked on and if we head up here it seems like they've started on this area but this is the hardest part so they have a lot of grinding still to do and uh i think i'll just let him know because he might not know that the area up there is dark ah so supposedly someone took his lights and ran off i guess uh Sorry to hear that. Uh, I think I'll just leave you be and uh, I'll go look at someone else's garage. On to the next garage, we have Awesome Ian with 10,000 miles and $16 million. This is another mechanics garage, but this one has the beautiful mega bus. This thing is absolute perfection. This garage is pretty basic and doesn't have much design to it. The only thing really saving this garage is the mega bus. So I'll give this one a five. Four points are from the mega bus alone. So I think if this place was full of mega buses, it definitely would be a 10. On to the next person, we have Keen with almost 70,000 miles. What is that? <laughs> what is that? I can't even focus on raiding this garage with that thing in here. Ew! Ew! What is that? We have a... We have a bullet. And... We have this Zeta over here. We have this... Regent. We have this... Hooligan Nimbus. Uh, 
What is that? <laughs> and we have the Regent Black, which most people don't know that this is actually a pretty rare car. As it was originally a starter car, but it got removed later. And currently, this car is impossible to get. Unless you can find one in an auction house somewhere. And I do not want to stay in here any longer with whatever that disgusting thing is. Get it out of here. Ah, it's chasing me! Ah. Ah, okay. I made it out of that one and I'm into a different garage now. This one also has a white floor and it seems like there's a whole bunch of off-road type vehicles in here. This one's a super weird spec. The only thing that I kind of don't like is a pink and yellow, but I like cars that don't have colors that you think would go together. I also don't remember that you could take off the hood and the front bumper of the Mori 15 Extreme. And this is another Max Garage. I actually really like this one. I think I'm going to give this one a 7 as well. It all kind of goes together and makes sense. Onto the last garage, we have Bork Boy with 43,000 miles and only 128,000 cash. He's actually the winner from one of my giveaways for the showcase garage. And if you want a chance of winning giveaways just like this, make sure to join my Discord down in the description as I'll be hosting giveaways weekly. And looking at this garage, it has this black and gray color and then it has purple accents, which looks pretty cool, but it doesn't match any of the cars here. Like we have a green car and a bright blue car and an orange car and two green cars and another orange car. It all doesn't really seem that organized. And these chairs also don't look that comfortable, so that's gonna dock some points. And over here, we have the Firmus Wide Body, which is one of the only weeklies that I didn't actually earn. And... For some reason, we have the buck up here. I'm not going to question that. Overall, this garage is pretty cool. I'll give it a 5 out of 10. I think if they focused on making the cars match more and worked on actually maxing out the garage, I think this place would look pretty cool. And with that being said, I think that's going to be the end of this video. Let me know down in the comments which garage you think was your favorite. And I'll see you in the next video.